Let's start with something simple. Who's the current US president? When was the War of 1812? What is one plus one? Zero plus zero? All right, Carl, we're gonna have to make you smart. This video is sponsored by our fine friends over at Hackster.io. If you want to see more projects like this, then head over to their website and browse through their thousands of different projects and topics. And this video is also sponsored by Squarespace. I know some of you already know how to code your own site, but if websites were burgers with your limited time, resources, and buggy code, this is probably what you'd end up with. But if you let Squarespace do it for you, this is what you'd end up with. Thanks to their tasty all-in-one platform with no installations, patches, or upgrades ever. So why don't you sizzle on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to lunch, I mean launch, you can head over to squarespace.com slash tinkernut to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace, you're so scrummy. There's a project that I've been itching to do for a while now and it's turning a dumb car into a smart car. And what do I mean by smart car? This, just kidding. I'm thinking of a console that shows like information about the car, fuel information, and maybe a backup camera or something like that. And yes, I am aware that most cars nowadays come standard with those features, but this is for those of us that are stuck with the older dumb cars with the hopes that one day they will be smarter. All right, so what's the plan? I don't know. I have a few ideas, but I don't know if they're gonna work, so this project may end up being an utter failure. But that's okay, because failure is something that I excel at. First thing I'd like to figure out is, can I make my own backup camera? As far as I know, it just consists of a camera stuck on the back of your car and a monitor mounted somewhere on the dashboard. So starting with that, there's a few different things we could try, and we'll start with the most basic version. A small camera and a small monitor. Obviously, the camera is gonna be mounted on the back of the car, and I just use duct tape because duct tape is awesome, and also because I don't really wanna make any permanent changes to my car yet. Now, this camera, and probably most cameras like it, will require a power source, and it's intended to be wired to the reverse light of the car. But to test it out, I'm just gonna connect it to a battery instead. Then I'm gonna run a long RCA cable from it to the monitor on the dashboard of the car and it's powered from the car's USB adapter. Turning on the car powers up the monitor and if the camera were wired up to the reverse lights, it would come on only when the car is in reverse. But testing it out as is, it totally works. But my goal here is to make something kind of like a command center that shows more than just the backup camera. So this setup doesn't quite work. So another option would be to put a pie on it. Honestly, did you really think I'd make a smart car without a Raspberry Pi? Come on, son. With the Pi, you could go with the USB camera or the Pi camera, but whichever one you choose, just make sure you have a long enough cable to run the length of the car. The benefit of doing a setup like this is that the camera doesn't require its own power supply. It's powered by the Pi. So I've got my Pi connected to this seven inch touchscreen display and both of them are powered by the car's USB adapter. To view the camera, I just tapped in RaspyVid-T0 to launch a preview and test it out. Not too shabby. Now, obviously this current setup looks pretty terrible, but it's just intended to be a temporary proof of concept and we can clean it up later. And now we know that at least making our own rudimentary backup camera is feasible. So next time I'd like to see if I can write a program that analyzes the backup camera footage and looks for objects that are getting too close. If you were making your own smart car, what would you put in it? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow along with this project, you can visit the project page over at hackster.io. If you have any ideas, you can submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com slash ideas. You can click here to watch more videos like this, and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to donate at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to youtube.com slash tinkernut.